hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new in this channel you are so much welcome if you have not subscribed please hit on the subscribe button also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you get notified in my last video i post where i draft this pattern and today we are going to do the making of this dress if you are interested keep on watching and let's go so guys as you can see that i have transferred my pattern paper to my main fabric and as you can see I added half an inch to the bustier part and added my seam allowance to the side as well. I added 1.5 inches seam allowance, but you can as well add 2 inches if you want. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to bring out my hair stay and I will use my hair stay to, I will iron my hair stay to the fabric. So here it comes after attaching my estate to my main fabric. This is what we have here. I also attach estate to my main, to the yoke as well. You can see the yoke here. I also attach my estate to the yoke. So now the next thing I will be doing is just to bring the lining. Remember I said the, the Ankara is the same as lining okay so i will just take it to my sewing machine now i will place the lining on top of the main fabric like this remember right side meeting right side like this arrange it very well and sew according to all this line that i'm just showing you guys just sew like this okay after that now i will still go ahead to place my bustier and i will sew it as accordingly to how i cut it so guys, this is what it looks like after attaching my yoke together. So I will just go ahead to notch the necessary part. You can see this uh, sharp V part. I notched it and I will go ahead to notch the other side. Just look at what I'm doing. I will notch it so that it will last very well when I will turn it. This is for the neck. And also notch the V part there. I will notch everywhere so that by the time I turn it, it will will last very well please always notch if you are doing this okay so i will just go ahead to notch so guys after notching i will just go ahead to turn it over you can see we are passing pass it through the armhole to turn it over You carefully do it because it takes some time to come out okay just have patience to do it out so after removing one part then i will remove the other parts like so So guys, after removing it, after turning it, this is what it looks like, okay? So now, the next step is to take it to my ironing table and press it with hot iron. So guys, this is how it looks like after ironing it. You can see it, it comes out very fine and beautiful. You can see the sharp V there because we notched it. Let's assume, let's assume we did not notch it. It will not come out well like this. Please, when you are making this kind of dress, always notch those sharp points, okay? So let's take this on aside and let's work with the bustier. You can see I have attached my bustier. You can see how the bustier come out. Looking pretty and beautiful. You can see the bustier parts, okay? So, and I have went ahead to open the seam up and I ironed it very well. I also add a, a wording to it, please. I add a wording to it and you can see the outcome of it is looking very beautiful, guys. So let's take this front aside first. This is the back. You can see I have torn my back with my lining and I ironed it very well and it's come out so beautiful and neat. This is the other side of the back as well. So this is how it comes out. Let's take this one aside and let's work with the front and the yoke. So guys, this is the front of the bustier and this is the yoke as well so now it's time for me to attach the yoke to the bustier part but first before we do that i will first of all notch my yoke 
okay i will fold it into two like this and i will notch the yoke and also notch the bustier but the reason why i am notching this part is because for me to achieve the center right okay for me to know where the center is so that is the reason why you must notch your center so that you will after fixing it it will not look bent so after notching the two the both the both of this uh, bustier and the yoke so the next thing is just to place the notch together just place your notch together like this then you use your pin now to hold it down okay so that there will be no error here so you just pin it you hold it together with your pin after pinning this is how it will be looking like after you pin it ensure that the two notch match each other right side meeting right side guys please right side meeting right side ensure that the two uh notched meet each other then you go ahead to pin it down So now you just place the other side like this and place it accurately and also pin it. Just take it accurately to the armhole like this, okay? Then you bring out your lining because you. Uh, I also repeat the same thing to the lining as well. The way I did it to the front, the, the main fabric, I did it the same thing to the lining. So I will place the lining on top of this yoke. So the yoke will be in between the lining and the fabric. So, guys, this is how it comes out after sewing it. I sew the two edge. You can see the edge is neat, and this is the inside. It's very neat. Okay, I place it. I sew it after sewing it. I ironed it, and you can see the outcome of it is very beautiful and neat as well. You can see the other side of it. It comes out very well so guys you can see that we have some edges that is longer than they are not correspond there just go ahead to trim it out okay if you have some excess that is not wanted it's fine you can you can also trim it out it will not spoil anything just to make it accurate okay so guys that is it just this is me trying to blend everything in a such a way that it will be equal okay so guys that is it so the next step now is to bring the back like this to attach the back and the front together by joining the shoulder together okay this is what i normally do my shoulder i place the front shoulder in between the back yoke and the the back fabric and the lining together so after sewing this is what we will have so neat and just go ahead to iron it it will look very neat like this and it will look very flat and beautiful okay this is how it comes out so i repeated the same thing to the other side and this is how they look like okay you can see the other side i've also repeated the same thing to it so this is it so this is the damp part of the gun so i've already cut it outside camera so now this is me removing my pen for me to hold my dart so what i will do here is that i will hold the dart of the fabric separately and the lining separately as well so when i'm true i will show you how it looks like so this is how it looks like you can see i have hold my dart for both the main fabric and the lining sorry for the color that i'm using for the thread so i have black thread but i decided to use this color for us to see well so now the next step is to bring the front yoke the front upper parts okay i will turn the down parts right side of it right side meeting right side like this then i will bring after placing it like that i will bring the lining okay on top of the on top of the on top of it and i will sew it so guys this is how i mean i've sewed it and 
the front is you ensure that you have some half inches by the side okay half inches by the side for you to join the side so now i will put all the front in between the yoke the main fabric and the lining then i will first of all join the damp parts okay after joining the damp part i will join the side remember i said i leave half an inch for the side for the waist side then leave about five inches for you to turn it over okay so this is what i mean you can see i've sewed the damp part i've sewed the sides and i ensure that i leave about five inches five to six inches okay so you can see i have sewed it this is the other side i leave about five to six that i will use to turn it okay so this is me turning it out turning the inside out okay hope you are understanding what i'm trying to explain so after turning it like this i will turn it like this so this part that i open i will put about half an inch inside i will put about half an inch inside like this then i will take it to my sewing machine and toss stitch on it i will toss stitch on it so that it will look very neat then and i will iron it i will do the same thing to the rest ones like so so this is how it comes out you can see i have uh, i have ironed it you can see how neat it comes out this is the front you can see the neat part of it you can see the journey part this is the back i did the same thing to the back just the way we did it to the front i did the same thing to the back as well so you can see the back is looking neat and i ironed it very well okay so guys the next step now is to join the two back together so that we can we can hold them together to be, be to become one i will arrange it very well so that the two the two parts will correspond well okay arrange it well so that there will be no error so now after arranging it I will bring that my tape so that I will mark the slits. Okay, so I will just take about nine inches. I, I took about nine inches and I discovered that it's too high, so I reduce it to about uh, six inches. But for now, I take nine inches. So you remember we added one point two inch and uh, one two inches for our seam allowance. So we use half inches to join the to join both the. The lining and the fabric inside there it will be left with 1.5 so i will use the 1.5 to just mark it like this starting from our so from this part here that i'm marking is where my zip we accommodate so i will just mark it and this part is where my zip we accommodate so i will mark from there 1.5 and i will rule it that part is where i will stitch please if you don't understand please kindly ask question so i've opened it up and i ironed guys if you have watched up to this moment and you have not liked this video please like this video and if you have not subscribed please subscribe and also turn on the notification bell please thank you so guys this is it you can see the slit parts you can see i put a stm hemi gum to hold the slit down the slit part so that it will stay well you can see how it comes out very beautiful guys so the next thing we'll be doing is to bring out our zip to place it to the zipper so now i have attached my zip to it and i ironed it as well you can see it come out very neat and very beautiful guys so this is the slits very beautiful so now it's time for us to join the both the back and the front together and i will just join it by the 1.5 inches i also give okay one inches okay i gave 1.5 inches for my seam allowance so i use one inches for the stitching so this is how it comes out i will just go ahead to turn it this is the back part okay looking very pretty guys very beautiful so i've turned it this is how it looks like at the front part at the right side sorry 
okay printing go ahead to iron your work here is the sleeve that will be attaching to the ham hole this is the sleeve okay now just go ahead to fix the sleeve and see the final look so, so here is the final look of the gown look at printing guys if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up like my video share my video also comment if you have any question and if you have not subscribed please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more beautiful tutorial like this thank you very much for watching bye to see you in my next one